this video, I'll show you why Chromebook Plus is nothing less than a revolution in Google's Chromebook strategy, what the difference is between a normal Chromebook and a Chromebook Plus, and what you can do with a Chromebook Plus. We take a look at the new possibilities of a Chromebook Plus. Using the Asus Chromebook Plus TX34 as an example, as always, you can find the link to this Chromebook Plus and other Chromebooks in the video description below. With the introduction of Chromebook Plus, Google has caused a sensation in the notebook world as it is going full attack mode towards Microsoft. Chromebooks are no longer just intended to focus on the niche of affordable and efficient entry-level laptops, but also to attack the more powerful notebooks in the mid to upper price segment. This is particularly delicate because Microsoft will have major problems moving users from Windows 10 to Windows 11 in 2025. The high hardware requirements of Windows 11 will mean that many current Windows 10 users will have to buy a new notebook in 2025 and will then think carefully about whether they want to play this game with Microsoft. This is because Windows 11 requires a UEFI BIOS with secure boot security functions and a TPM 2.0 chip, which many current Windows notebooks do not fulfill. In addition, Windows 11 users will be forced to create a Microsoft account for the first time, which was previously not mandatory. In the video I linked above, I showed you why you should think carefully about creating and using a Microsoft account in terms of data protection. By 2025 at the latest, these points will lead many users to seriously consider alternatives and are now being offered these with Chromebook Plus. As an attentive viewer of How to Chromebook, you have been watching for several years now how Chrome OS has evolved from an operating system with simple and fast handling, as well as security against malware and a focus on the Chrome browser, to an extremely flexible and powerful operating system with which you can easily complete your daily to-dos. While the Chrome Web Store and Google Play Store have been part of Chrome OS for a relatively long time and make countless apps available on Chromebooks, the ability to install a full-fledged Linux operating system on Chromebooks and use Linux programs directly in Chrome OS has been a milestone. The next big milestone was the native integration of Steam in Chrome OS so that Chromebook users are no longer reliant on the exclusive use of cloud gaming but can now also enjoy real local gaming with Chromebooks. However, the big problem that has developed over the last few years as a result of this progress has been the growing division in the Chromebook community. While many Chromebooks are still equipped with the most basic hardware and are very efficient with it, there have of course been more powerful Chromebooks before the introduction of Chromebook Plus, with which the aforementioned things such as Linux or Steam were possible. However, for Chromebook users who don't watch every How to Chromebook video, it was often unclear whether the capabilities I demonstrated for more powerful Chromebooks would also work for them. Even though I always tried to point out that the performance-hungry functions would of course only work on more powerful Chromebooks. Google has now resolved this ambiguity and division with the introduction of Chromebook Plus because from now on it is clear. A Chromebook is a Chromebook, a an inexpensive notebook with simple hardware that works quickly and efficiently compared to Windows, but is primarily intended for the simplest everyday tasks, surfing, online shopping, and emails. A Chromebook Plus is now a full-fledged notebook with the performance you are used to from the Windows world. The minimum requirements for a Chromebook Plus are a 12 generation Intel Core i3 CPU or an AMD Ryzen 3 from the 5000 or 7000 series, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and at least 128 gigabytes of storage space. The difference here is that Chromebooks handle these components much more efficiently compared to Windows notebooks, which gives a Chromebook plus the edge in terms of performance. In addition, a webcam with 1080 resolution and noise suppression, as well as a full HD IPS display must be on board as a minimum. As you know, I always strongly recommend that you choose an IPS display because it simply makes a significant difference in quality. So if you choose a Chromebook Plus, you can be sure that it is an appropriate display. However, the biggest criticism of Chromebooks and Chromebook Plus is that programs familiar from the Windows world cannot be used one-to-one -one on a Chromebook. Of course, this limits the familiar handling of a notebook, meaning that Chromebook users sometimes have to switch to web-based cloud services or Chromebook Plus users have to use Linux programs instead of the Windows version. 
On the other hand, Chromebooks are also particularly secure as Windows-based viruses or other malware don't stand a chance on Chromebooks. In my opinion, however, at a time when new web-based AI tools with unimaginable functions are conquering the internet almost daily, classic Windows programs are becoming increasingly superfluous. In terms of performance, the Chromebook Plus is on a par with conventional Windows notebooks in the mid to upper class, and it will be exciting to see how many users will switch from Windows to a Chromebook Plus in 2024 and 2025. But apart from the more powerful hardware features compared to a normal Chromebook, what can a Chromebook Plus do that a basic Chromebook can't? When it comes to the Chromebook Plus, Google is focusing entirely on AI. This means that a Chromebook Plus has a range of AI functions directly in the Chrome OS operating system, which can be very helpful in the daily use of your Chromebook. For example, if you take part in a video conference with your Chromebook Plus, according to Google, the AI improves the clarity and brightness of the video recordings, background noise is suppressed, and you can blur the background of your recording. In the future, AI-generated backgrounds for video calls will also be possible. The practical thing is that these functions can be used regardless regardless of the app you are using. Whether Google Meet, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams, the AI functions for video conferences are firmly integrated into the operating system and can be used across all apps. What is really extremely practical and quick to use is the Magic Eraser integrated into the Google Photos app, which allows you to quickly and easily remove unwanted elements from your pictures. With a Chromebook Plus, you can also activate file synchronization between your Google Drive files and your Chromebook with one click, so that you not only have all your data backed up in the cloud, but can also access it offline on the go, and it will be automatically updated in the cloud the next time you connect online. Although the full Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro won't work on a Chromebook Plus, you can still use the mobile versions of Photoshop, Adobe Express, or the video editing program LumaFusion. There are also now really powerful cloud-based video editing tools such as CapCut, which you can use to create videos, add subtitles, and use many other AI tools for images and videos. These tools are often free and can also be used smoothly thanks to the minimum 8 gigabytes of RAM on a Chromebook Plus as the rest of the computing power takes place in the cloud. Google is working on implementing more and more AI tools in Chrome OS. And now that Google has introduced Gemini, an amazing AI model that even puts ChatGPT4 in the shade, we can look forward to some exciting new AI functions such as AI image creation and AI functions that we can't even imagine yet. But in addition to the AI tools, you can also install Steam and Linux on a Chromebook Plus, and I'll show you how to do that now. Let's start with the installation of Steam. First, go to Chrome Flags. Here you search for Borealis Enabled. Activate the flag by selecting Enabled and restart your Chromebook. If you search for Steam in the launcher after the restart, the Steam installer will appear, with which you can easily install Steam on your Chromebook in just a few steps. Since a Chromebook Plus has at least 128 gigabytes of memory, there is definitely enough space available for Steam. Once Steam is installed, you can log in as usual, install games from your library, and play them on your Chromebook Plus. Depending on how powerful your Chromebook Plus is, you can also play countless games, such as Half-Life 2, Age of Empires 2, Heroes of Might, and Magic 3, or Star Wars, Empire at War locally. If the apps from the Chrome Web Store or Google Play Store are not enough for you, and you want to use full-fledged programs on your Chromebook, you can install Linux on your Chromebook Plus. This means that you have a fully-fledged Linux Debian operating system integrated directly into your Chrome OS and can use all kinds of Linux programs. To install Linux on your Chromebook, first go to the quick settings at the bottom right, click on the cogwheel for the system settings, and then open the advanced settings area at the bottom left. Now go to developer, click on activate in the Linux development environment, click on next, and then select the storage space you want to make available for your Linux operating system on your Chromebook. Linux will now be installed on your operating system. As you can see, you can really do a lot more with a Chromebook Plus than you would expect from a Chromebook. What do you think about Chromebook Plus?
Do you think that more powerful Chromebooks are now a serious alternative to more powerful Windows notebooks, especially when users are forced to switch to Windows 11? I'm looking forward to your comments. If you want to know the top 5 reasons why you should switch to a Chromebook now, then click on the video on the left. If you want to see my detailed Chromebook tutorial with lots of helpful tips and tricks, then click on the right video now. And I say, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.